Oh my god, guys. Look at that runny yolk. Whoa. It's basically like a matcha ice cream that's kind of like spaghettified. Yeah, so you can eat it like this first, plain, or you can add the soup stock. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. My name is James and today I'm in Tokyo, Japan. I got on a flight here from Bangkok to Narita Airport via Thai Airways. The flight was okay, it was pretty smooth. Kind of bumpy, a lot of clouds, so a lot of turbulence. Yeah, the food was all right. So we landed here in Tokyo at about 9 a.m. We couldn't check in yet, the check-in time was at 3 p.m. So we're out here, we're gonna go to the Asakusa temple and the Tesoji temple to pass the time while waiting and also gonna eat some tempura, eat some street food as well to pass the time. Join me today on our adventure through Tokyo, eating and visiting a lot of temples and beautiful vistas. As always, if you would like more information about traveling around Asakusa or even all of Japan, you can check out my blog, feastographyblog.com for more information such as transportation, accommodation, and most importantly, food recommendations. Link is in the description below. Okay, hello guys. So we're at a restaurant, a temporal restaurant called Amairo. We're here to eat lunch before we do any actual exploring. So Amairo is located just a little bit away from the main Asakusa walking street. Although Amairo's menu is small, they do their tempura really well. They mostly serve like a set lunch or a dinner. In Japanese, it's called teishoko, I believe. And so my mom ordered a tempura set with a plate of assorted fried goodies and rice on the side. I ordered a tempura don, which is a little bit different. It's a tempura rice bowl with a sweet glaze drizzled on. Each of our set comes with a small dish of pickled vegetables, like cucumbers, carrots, and radish, as well as a piping hot bowl of miso soup. So my tempura don comes with two big pieces of shrimp, a fried eggplant, and a fried pumpkin, I believe. But what I'm most excited for is the soft boiled egg tempura. It's so soft and bouncy, you just know the egg is going to be runny. Oh my god, guys, look at that runny yolk. Whoa, the egg literally just exploded. Oh wow. The tempura don was unbelievably good. The batter is a bit soggy from the sauce, but it was still a little bit crispy in some parts. The shrimp was massive. It was it was pretty big, it was plump, it was juicy, soft and tender. I just love tendon so much. But the egg, the egg was literally divine. With the warm yolk covering the rice, giving it a very rich texture combined with the slight crispiness of the tempura batter and that sweet, sweet glaze. Literal perfection in the bowl, guys. Asakusa is one of those districts that you must visit in Tokyo. The district's got this amazing old school charm to it and it's best known for the iconic Sensoji Temple, also known as the Asakusa Kanon Temple. When you arrive at Asakusa train station, you'll be at the Asakusa shopping street known as the Nakamise shopping street. The streets are full of food stalls, souvenirs, clothing bags, and much more. Although I do think that the area is a little touristy with all the inflated prices and the Japanese souvenirs and whatnot. And I even saw some people driving go-karts around like in Mario Kart. Upon entering the Sensoji temple itself, you'll see the Kami Narimon or the Thunder Gate. The giant red lanterns and some pretty intimidating guards go along with the gate as well. The temple itself is known as the oldest Buddhist temple in Tokyo dating back to around the mid 7th century AD. This place is absolutely stunning with its deep red colors, intricate woodwork, and so much culture packed into one entire area. Inside, you can do a whole lot of temple stuff like offering prayers, lighting some incense, or trying to draw those fortune slips, they're called omikuji. Right next to the temple, you'll see the five-story pagoda, which is such a classic piece of Japanese architecture and just looks amazing. Plus, if you walk further a bit from the Asakusa main temple, you'll see a glimpse of the Tokyo sky tree towering in the distance. So this is something that I want to be trying for a while. I see this all over like social media. It's basically like a matcha ice cream that's kind of like spaghettified. Oh, there's like ice cream in the bottom too. It looks like vanilla ice cream. Mmm. Oh. Oh, I thought it would be I thought it would be ice cream, but the matcha spaghetti thing is actually sort of like 
like a dough like a matcha dough thing noodle stuff it's not ice cream though so it turns out that the matcha noodle dough thing was actually a chestnut paste combined with a little bit of matcha powder which you know makes sense because there's like a chestnut sitting on top of the ice cream but yeah it's pretty interesting it's pretty all right it's pretty okay so for dinner we came to eat at this like grilled eel place called una toto uh, i'm still kind of a bit sleepy i just took a nap but yeah, so this is what we're gonna have for dinner. It's like a grilled eel. So what I've ordered is the Jitsu Mabushi Shin, which is like this eel, like diced up eel over rice. And you're supposed to eat it with like a, a soup-based stock. So sort of like a like a Thai congee or porridge. So what you do is you first mix up the rice and seaweed and eel mixture. And then you portion out a bit, like a like a spoonful or two, to like a separate bowl. And here is where you can add like your extra spices. You see here we have like a wasabi. There's some like chili powder and pepper, stuff like that. So you just add whatever you like. So I like a little bit of chili. And I especially love the, the black pepper. It has like a nice numbiness to it, like a sort of like a Sichuan black pepper. Yeah, so you can eat it like this first, plain, or you can add the soup stock. I'm just gonna try it first for now. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. Mmm. The rice is cooked beautifully, the eel is so soft and tender, very flavorful. Mmm. So good, very good. So you can't forget to pour the dashi soup broth into your bowl of rice. It's like a mild dashi flavor and when you pour it in, the taste is so divine. It's so comforting, so heartwarming. It's like the eel is giving you a hug. And here we added, uh, we ordered some yakitori on the side. It's like grilled chicken, a variety of grilled chicken skewers, uh, lathered with sauce and salt seasonings. It's a bit difficult to film because there's literally a train right above us. This building, this building is right under like a train track. We ordered some yakitori, grilled chicken skewers. One of my favorites is like this soft chicken cartilage, like chicken pieces. So we can give it a taste. Mm. There's a nice charred grilled flavor, but I think it really needs a bit more like a bit more sauce. It's a bit too plain, I think. So I have a bit of soy sauce. Cheers, guys. It's very crunchy. The cartilage is it's soft. It's very crunchy. But I really love the, the charred grilled flavor. Another one of my favorites is like this uh, grilled chicken skin. Mm. Very good. Hello, everyone. So we've already checked in. So this is our room. Sorry for it being messy. We already unpacked, but yeah. So, hello. So yeah, this is our room. It's very small. Two twin beds, uh, a table, mirror, a uh, coat, clothes hanger, some nice uh, decorations, table, bed, pillow, window, TV, Aircon and toilet. That's basically all there is to this room. It's very small. I mean as as expected for a hotel room in Tokyo, Japan <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so that's it for today's vlog. Uh, sorry for it being so haphazardly filmed and edited uh, I'm still trying to get used to like vlogging in public especially in these like crowded and uh, busy challenging environments. Yeah, I hope you had fun today eating food and coming traveling with me to Asakusa The next video is gonna be something really special because tomorrow I'm gonna go to Tokyo Disney Sea and you guys are gonna come with me. So I hope you guys are excited for that uh, So as always if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up if you love the video uh, Please subscribe. It really helps me out and if you want to know more about traveling in Japan You can check out my food and travel blog Feastography.com link will be in the description below 
And yeah, that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.